remember this ad that said, pregnant, need help, call Jane. So I called Jane. In 1969 in Chicago, a group of women pooled their resources and formed an illegal counseling and referral service. Counselors used the code name Jane. We'd counsel the woman and we'd make the doctor contact and then once the doctor took over, it was out of our hands. But the big step didn't come until after we discovered that these doctors that we'd been sending people to weren't doctors at all. And here was this ordinary person who was doing this abortion. And then the next step was, if he could do it, we could do it. The women of Jane went on to perform more than 11,000 safe abortions. And one by one, we're taken into this room to have the abortion. And there was a woman sitting next to me. She was holding my hand through the whole thing, and she said, you're fine. You're going to be fine. It's a revolutionary, though. The idea that women, anyone, regular people, can seize control of their lives. Chicago police were on alert. The Janes continued their work, and in 1972, police raided one of the apartments where they were doing abortions. We believed that if a law was wrong, that we had some responsibility to stand up and say, this is a wrong law. Not only was there the need, but there was a philosophical obligation on our part, on somebody's part, to, to, to disrespect a law that disrespected women.